Hey guys, welcome back to another mukbang and a horror movie. Today I'm getting ready to watch The Blob from 1957 and I have some yellow cauliflower rice with sausage and avocados. Hey guys! I love this movie. Like, I like them both. They have this one, which is the original one from 1957, and they made another one in 1988. But my all time favorite is the original one. This one. Well, it's not Jane. Mmm. It is so good. So, I took a can of Vienna sausages and I cooked it up in a little bit of olive oil. And then I made my cauliflower rice in the microwave and I just add some packets of Sazon Goya to give it the yellow coloring and the flavor. And this is half of a Haas avocado. Mm. <clears throat> but the rice, I, I cooked the entire meal and then I split it in half. So I'm just eating half of the, half of the can of sausages and half of the cauliflower rice. Come here, I'm here. Bang. And I'm just drinking water. You ate your rice? I love you. Okay, that's fine. Go play. <clears throat> just go. He's not going to do anything. <clears throat> This is so yummy. So you guys, oh my God. Like, I was talking to David yesterday about like, you know, my passion for like horror movies and stuff like that. And I seriously like, I've always wanted to have like, like a horror room, a, a room that is just for movies and like our movie room where we would sit down like if we were in a movie theater and I would fill up all my walls with like movie posters and vintage stuff and stuff I like, you know? But hey, you know, maybe someday we'll be able to have a house with like an extra room dedicated to just that. It'll be my movie room and all our collectibles because we were talking about it and David was like, man, we have all these collectibles that we we haven't even been able to put up because we don't know where to put it. We don't have a, a space or a shelf or a room dedicated specifically to that, you know? And he got me my Negan. It's like an action figure of Negan from The Walking Dead. And he has his own collection of stuff he likes. But we haven't really been able to put it up because we want a room totally just dedicated to that. So... I don't know. I'm really thinking about just turning my living room into just that. <laughs> and, you know, over time, like, collect some 
classic horror movie posters, you know, like from all times that I like, especially the 80s. Like, oh my God. And just fill up my wall with like nice movie posters. Oh my God, it'll be so cool. I would love to do that. Mm. That would be my dream. <laughs> So this one, if I'm not mistaken, I remember that I did a video on it. Let me show you guys a close up. I know a lot is glaring so much. This one, I remember I did a video and I showed you guys when David got it for me. We ordered it online. And this one is a Criterion collection right here. It has the C. And it comes with like a small little booklet inside. I'll show you guys at the end when I finish eating and then I'll read to you guys. But I love it. That's my um, second tri uh, Criterion collection that I have. The other Criterion I have is Rosemary's Baby. Which is another one of my all-time favorite horror movies. If you just keep your eye on the house while I'm gone, goodbye. I gotta see if they have the birds in um, in Criterion Collection because I have it on DVD, <clears throat> and that is like my one of my favorite movies also from back then. I think um, I think the birds is 1963. I know Rosemary's Baby is 1968. And that's Roman Polanski. Roman's, Roman Polanski's Rosemary's Baby and The Birds is Alfred Hitchcock. Oh my God. But yeah, The Blob's always been one of my favorites. And I like the art. I like the art in this. I love it. My God, this avocado was like really soft. I have a few pieces there, but I'm not gonna eat it all. It's really mushy, and I like it like I like it creamy. I like it a little soft, but not too too soft. And we just bought them yesterday. But yeah, I just left like a, three little pieces there that are like really dark and mushy. But this is perfect to like make guacamole. Oh my god. We picked him up out on the road. He was screaming about the thing on his hand. Oh yummy, that was good. What does he got in his hand? I don't know, Doc. It was kinda like a blister on his finger, you know? All right, so let me read to you the box. It says Irving S. Yeworth Jr.'s The Blob. Indescribable, indestructible, nothing can stop it. And then over here it says 1958, the Criterion Collection. Right here. Mm hmm. A cult classic of cooey, no, I'm sorry, gooey. <laughs> Let me start over. A cult classic of gooey greatness. The blob follows the havoc wrecked on a small town by an outer space monster with neither soul nor vertebrae. With Steve McQueen playing a rebel teenager who tries to warn the residents about the jelly-like invader. Strong performances and ingenious special effects help the blob transcend the schlock sci-fi and youth delinquency genres from which it originates. Made outside of Hollywood by a maverick film distributor, distributor and a crew whose credits mostly comprised religious and educational shorts. 
The Blob helped launch the careers of McQueen and composer Burt Bacharach, whose bouncy title song is just one of this film's many unexpected pleasures. <laughs> I like the song in the beginning. It is catchy. Blu-ray special edition features new 4K digital restoration with uncompressed monaural soundtrack two audio commentaries one by producer jack h harris and film historian bruce etter and the other by director irving s Eworth jr and actor robert fields blobabilia a gallery of collector wes shanks trove of rare stills posters props including the blob itself and other Ephemera trailer plus an e plus an essay by critic Kim Newman 82 minutes of concentrated motion picture terror in blood curdling color the criterion collection is dedicated to gathering the greatest films from around the world and publishing them in editions of the highest technical quality with supplemental features that enhance the appreciation of the art of film visit us at criterion.com yeah that's basically what criterion is so i love collecting these yeah like i said i only have two criterion collections this one, The Blob 1958 and Rosemary's Baby 1968. But I want to start collecting more okay. of these Criterions. And then just here on the side, it says Blu-ray Edition, 1958, 82 minutes, color. Monaural 1.661 aspect ratio. Yes, isn't it cool? Oh, and it, it does bring the little booklet inside. I almost forgot chapters oh this is cool okay i'll show you the booklet now so right here it has the name of all the chapters one through 20 i'm not gonna read them all but you get the picture and then this little booklet right here that says the blob bloated with the blood of its of its victims the criterion collection presents the blob shapeless man-eating mass growing larger with every victim <laughs> Okay, so. And then inside, I guess, let me see the back. Okay. Inside, it just talks about the movie. It Creeps and Leaps by Kim Newman. So, yeah, basically, it just talks about the film. I'm not going to read all this. But just so you guys get an idea of what my... Criterion collection of the blob looks like all right you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang and a horror movie if you haven't seen this movie definitely check it out because it's fun to watch it's not really creepy well it is creepy because you know it's like a creepy blob <laughs> eating people but it's very fun to watch and I love that it's an original you know from 1958 like i love retro and classic movies all things vintage and classic you guys know my passion for it so yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm so excited and so happy today <laughs> i just love bringing these out to you guys you guys know how passionate i am about horror movies and you know I'm... anyway i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my movie i hope you guys enjoyed it if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos and click in the description box below so you can get a link to all my social media. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.